this is Rose and I'm doing another video. I noticed two things over the past week. I blink way too much in my videos and I have not done any recent videos of my own product. So I'm going to go over the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean inspired Pirates Cove line and I'm going to show you what they look like in wrapping. They are already on my website but I want you to see up close what they look like. They are in packaging, so I will be pausing to take them out of the package, but I'm gonna show them to you right now. This is my High Seas uh, soap, previously called It's the Pearl. This is my Blushing Scarlet, which I actually retained the name. Then this is my um, Caribbean, Wedding. I'm sorry, I had to look at the top for a moment. I'm like, okay, which one is this? Caribbean wedding. And then this is my mermaid's tear. So, oh, and this is my rum runner, formerly called Hide the Rum. So hold on for a second. Hey, okay. So this is my masculine blend right here. And as you can see, I'm taking it out. It's very clean, it's very light, but it's definitely masculine. Um, I know some people say, oh, it's ocean. This is not ocean, but it's, it almost, it's not ozone, it's not ocean. It's honestly hard for me to describe, even though I made it, except for I just knew once I made it, oh, this is it right here. So that's that one. And no, I'm, I can always re-wrap these later, which is why I don't mind taking them out right now. Um, and this is my Blushing Scarlet. This is very soft and floral with two different types of rose essential oil as well as rose fragrance oil. And that's my Blushing Scarlet. And what does Scarlet have anything to do with rose? Um, you know, the women, the femme de nuit, as they used to be called, women of the night, would rouge their cheeks especially. Um, and that's why you have the saying, oh, you're painted up like a strumpet or tarted up looking when you're wearing too much um, face makeup, especially blush. Okay. All right, now this is my Caribbean wedding. I want you all to see this. Okay. And it is made with um, essential oils and fragrance oils as well. And this, this is actually made with ginger essential oil at a very low usage rate. A little ginger goes a long way. But it's not spicy. It's um, Dang, I don't know how to explain that either. Maybe this is why I don't do videos describing my own uh, product because <laughs> I like it, but it's hard for me to describe, you know. And if you see, this, when you see the descriptions on my website, it's normally what other people tell me it smells like to them. Um, this one here, let me see if I can just slide out. Okay, yeah, I can. All right, this is my Mermaid's Tear. And as you can see, it's very muted colors that you look at and you're kind of like am I really seeing that and the concept behind this one is with mermaids of course you have the old lore about mermaids what they are and I made that one with geranium oil essential oil because um when I watched the movie that inspired it the mermaid was kind of soft looking kind of oh I feel so bad for her but in true mermaid lore, especially the older, they are vicious. And they are actually horrid looking creatures. But they can enchant a uh, sailor with their voices or sometimes they could change the appearance of their, uh, of their faces. And of course that would lure these sailors who had been out to sea for way too long into their clutches. So that's why I made that one where it was... Um, 
the geranium has a very strong pungent smell to it but it mellows into something beautiful over time this one is my rum runner and this is the number two favorite soap this one right here is um, a mix of a couple of masculine um, essential oils well not essential oils fragrance oils with uh, bay essential oil and it is it's lovely because there's a sharp peppery um, fragrance to it top note but it mellows into something almost sweet over time and most of the times when I sell this I don't sell it at the six week mark I normally wait um, three to four months because I want that that the initial top note fragrance there so people when they smell like oh yeah that's masculine but at the same time I don't want it to give anybody a headache because of how sharp it can smell so this so far um, is or are the soaps of my Pirates Cove line I have six more to come and also I am working on making bath cookies and truffles so this is um, one of the packages of bath truffles and that's kiwi strawberry and then this is a bath cookie and this is pomegranate with the cookies and the uh, truffles you normally crumble one to two well one to two for a half bath I will say if you're using it on a child you might want to not use it on anyone younger than the age of seven unless it is specially formulated for sensitive skin if you are using this on anybody else, always, like with anything else, make a small face bowl um, of water and crumble one or half of one in. Put it on the inside of your arm, close to the elbow or the back of your knees, and wait uh, 24 hours. If you're going to have a reaction, you will have it, and then you'll know whether or not you should immerse the entire body in it. Also, um, with these... Even though I formulate mine with the lowest usage rates, you should be really, really careful about that, okay? But mine, so far, for me and my daughter and anybody who has been following me for the past 11 years know, we have a lot of skin issues. So if it doesn't break us out, um, I'm at least 80% sure it's not going to break anybody else out within reason. So these are something new, and for the month of August, I will be sending these out as testers to anybody who purchases and if they like it great wonderful if they don't then I guess we won't do it as an actual product line but it will be one of the drop down requests for a gift with purchase so that's what's going on with me tell me what's going on with you hit me up in the comments um, ask any questions any concerns anything that you might have I'm always here take care love you very much bye